Okay guys, I figured I'd do a little bit of an off the cuff, just a random video. You guys, if you don't want to watch a video that doesn't have any real subject matter, then you should probably turn this thing off now. If you just want to, I don't know, just hang around with me in my garage right now, then uh, keep the video on. So, just wanted to, I don't know, say some things, because I'm kind of bored right now. I was thinking about stupid or it's just silly reactions people have had to me carrying knives. One of them, uh, I think I've gotten this twice or twice or three times before. I've shown my friends knives, either ones that are interested or you know I was using one to cut something that I needed to, um, and uh, they'd react like, uh, you know. You must be fun with the airport security, or you must be fun at airports, or how do they let you on a plane with that? And then I always, I always wonder. It's like, do these people really think that people just go in airplanes or go to airports just on a whim? It's like, if I know I'm going to an airport, I'm probably gonna know that I shouldn't carry a knife there. It's like as if they see me in person. It's like. Every time, are you really supposed to be ready to go in, to an airport or something like that? I don't know. That's always something that got to me. It's like, people are trying to be smart asses about when it comes to, like, knives to, I don't know, make it seem like they're a lot smarter than you are, but it just ends up that they're asking a pretty ridiculous question. It's like, I mean, I'll ask one of you, any of you guys that are watching the video, it's like, do you find yourself just going to the airport on a whim, you know, just on a regular day, it's like, hey, why, why don't I just go to the airport? That's what I wonder. The, the, that's why it's such a ridiculous question to me. So there's one of those. Another one I've gotten before is, um, yeah, the ridiculous thing where it's about um, carrying length. I've met a ton of people here in California that know nothing about knives and then they'll do this thing. They'll do this number. I don't know if you're familiar with this, but they'll put their the knife in the palm of their hand. They'll put the blade in the palm of their hand. And they're going to tell you like if it's if that blade is longer than their palm, it's not legal to carry. I I'm wondering how that came about. How people started to believe that that's something that's true because I've heard it from so many uninformed individuals that it's it's quite surprising. Oh, it's, it might be some kind of wives' tale, kind of like not eating rare steak or something because it's gonna make you sick. That's how I feel like one of those kind of numbers is. Um, oh, I was thinking about another one, but I can't remember it right now. I mean, they're just like a lot of silly things people say out there. I had an aunt, or I have an aunt, not had. Um, it's twice it's happened it's like I use the knife to help out or something um, you know I helped open a box of cookies I just used my knife to cut the thing she like she bolted away from me like I was gonna stab her with it I always wonder these people all because we like cutting instruments they automatically assume that you know the somehow I, I was a nice guy before and then suddenly if I carry a knife I'm suddenly going to be possessed by the knife that I'm going to want to kill somebody. I really, I just really think that's something silly. I don't understand that, how that, how people process it that way, how people can suddenly think of you as something else just because of a hobby that you have. And it's not even, it's not even a hobby where you're hurting anybody. I never talked about hurting anybody and I don't plan on it. I would never want to. But still, it, it just comes about to people. One person argued with me and they were talking about how a knife makes you more, um, it makes you more violent, because, um, I'm not going to name any names, but they said, like, somebody they know, they have a gun in their car, and then in traffic, they pulled it out because they were mad, but I always saw that as, like, <laughs> that's illegal in the first place, I mean, I'm not planning on doing anything illegal. It's, to me, it's just incredibly ridiculous what people think about the hobby that we have as knife people and if you're watching this not as a knife person I hope you at least understand that it's we like these things just because it's that inex 
inexplicable thing. It's you just can't explain why you like things. I can't explain why my favorite color is the color what mint or something, you know? Nobody can really explain that. It's just something that they're attracted to. And at least, you know, our knives aren't uh <laughs> they're not something that's mind altering like being you're not obsessed with uh drinking, you're like an alcoholic or you're obsessed with drugs. It's just knives. And we never really plan on hurting other people with them. And those people that do, who are into this hobby, that are in for that kind of thing, there aren't going to be a lot of people that back them up. Just because most of us knife people, just search on the Instagram hashtag for everyday carry, just meet knife people on a, on the web. You see a lot of kind people, really a lot of nice people in law enforcement, just fathers, mothers sons, daughters, everybody. There's just young people, old people that like knives and they just like practical items, practical tools, things that were passed down, first tool ever made in mankind and it's just evolved and I think that's it's cool. Different lock mechanisms, different blade grinds, different ways to make these knives that we have better cutting tools and not even weapons but just as practical things. You know? I'm rambling on here. I actually forgot where it said. Oh yeah, it was about silly reactions. So yeah, I'm just wondering about some other silly reactions you've gotten from people, some stupid stuff that you've heard. And I also got another, I got a shout out for a guy. It might look like I'm calling him out and that's probably because I am. But I just always, I thought this was silly. I, f I figure it's, it would be pretty cool to, you know, make a live response to his his uh I don't know his comment to me. So this was my December everyday carry update. And then this guy commented. Uh oh there you go. You can read my response if you want, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna read out his thing out loud just because there's there is one curse word and I don't plan on cursing in my uh YouTube videos. Sorry. Had a burp. Okay. So what kind of nerd says writing instrument? It's a ping pen that's the type of that makes other countries laugh at us. And I thought that this comment was so funny just cuz obviously he's watched the video to the extent to know that I said writing in instrument right before pulling out the twist bullet pencil, but I guess he didn't watch long enough to realize that it's a pencil. So, that's his first point. What kind of nerd says writing instrument? I do. And so does Karis Customs, the, you know, Karis Customs the ones who make pens, they call it writing instrument, but you know, what do I know about, mm, you know, writing instruments, right? I'm just a nerd. It's a pen. Uh, yeah, that's where he's wrong. That's a pencil that uses, you know, a pencil with lead, whereas this is a pen. This is a Keras Customs pen, and their tagline for Keras Customs is quality writing instruments. Unfortunately, he's uh, very uninformed not to know that, but this, this pen, it uses pen refills. It uses ink, guys. It's pretty surprising, I know. I didn't know that they've made advancements like this. But yeah, so that is that. I had a pencil. Obviously, maybe he's blind or maybe partially blind. Sorry for you blind folk out there. He's probably a bad image. Yeah. So obviously, obviously my. Uh, my choice of words, writing instrument, makes uh, other countries laugh at us. And, uh, you know, I could take my pick at different countries to say something about, but that's not my thing, you know? You like what you like, I like what I like. But, well, there you have it. So this guy, Miski, uh, we just got to take a note from him. Just remember to watch what you say and make sure that you, um, you're, you're doing everything all right in his eyes. Make sure that you check out his channel. You know, for some quality comment, um, content, you know, so you can get some inspiration. Oh, wait. Oh, I mean, I'm sure he's going to post some post some uh, videos with some good right, topics, right, a lot of views. I got my, uh, I got some time to do this. But, yeah. So, a little bit of a ramble and a call out. Is it immature? Probably. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's pretty fun. So... I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video. Leave a comment on a silly situation or 
dumb reaction that you got for carrying knives or using your knife to help somebody out and they uh, turned it back on you by calling you a killer. Yeah, so let me know. And uh, remember to check out me, Ski's uh, YouTube account. You can check out his awesome content and you can get some inspiration there. Uh, and you can learn more about being a great individual who represents our country well. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Check out my Instagram, HDT1116, and you can check out my uh, pictures of knives, flashlights, pens, watches, all sorts of stuff. Anyways, you guys have a great day. See ya.